Hello and welcome to Centerpoint Energy's Energy Insight Center. This facility is where we demonstrate the future of electricity for public officials, state and federal regulators, other utilities, and consumers. In fact, we have had visitors from every continent except Antarctica tour the facility. The future of electricity is, in a word, digital. We already make use of digital information every day. Our cell phones, computers, and televisions all transport information digitally, allowing us to send text messages or tweets and watch movies on demand. Likewise, digital smart energy technologies will transform the way we deliver electricity and how consumers buy and use it. During this virtual tour, you'll learn how smart meters and other technology will put consumers in control. No more waiting for your bill to arrive to see how much you've spent on electricity. You'll be able to keep track of your usage in real time and take action that can lower your monthly bill. And that's just the start. You'll also see how an intelligent grid could help Centerpoint Energy reduce the number of power outages that occur and limit their severity when they do occur by restoring power more quickly. Smart energy technology is also good for the environment. First, by remotely reading, connecting, and disconnecting smart meters, Centerpoint Energy puts fewer trucks on the road, which is good for Houston's air quality. If consumers use less electricity, that could reduce the demand for power generation, which would also lower carbon emissions. And with smart meters, it will be easier to take advantage of energy from renewable sources like solar and wind. During this virtual tour of the Energy Insight Center, you'll see some of this exciting technology in action. But first, let's start with an overview of what the smart grid is and how it works. Thomas Edison invented the first mass market light bulb in the late 19th century. And if he were here today, he'd see an electric grid that hasn't changed much since his time. While today's grids are bigger and serve many more people, the way they operate is fundamentally the same. For the most part, that hasn't been a problem, as electricity is delivered to millions of Americans at all hours of the day, every day. But as our nation grows and our demand for reliable electricity grows with it, the time has come for a smarter electric delivery system, one that addresses the major shortfall of our current grid, a lack of two-way communication. Imagine shorter, less frequent outages, or a system that can even predict and prevent outages. Imagine being able to control your home's appliances that use the most energy, or your business's energy use from an internet connection anywhere in the world. That may sound like something from a Hollywood movie, but at Centerpoint Energy, it's part of a future that will change the way electricity is bought, used, and delivered. We call this exciting development Energy Insight because of the information it will put at everyone's fingertips. Centerpoint Energy will have real-time information about outages, usage, and overall system load. Retail electric providers will be able to offer an array of dynamic pricing programs and new services. And consumers will have the power to manage their energy usage like never before. At the heart of our system is the smart meter. This technology gives consumers a powerful source of information regarding their energy usage, which will help them make more informed energy choices that could save them money and benefit the environment. These meters enable remote reading, eliminating the need to go house to house on a monthly basis. And they'll also allow automated connection and disconnection of service. And because of its two-way communication capability and our wireless communication infrastructure, our smart meter can serve as the hub of a home area network that's dedicated to helping consumers manage energy use. These residential networks connect digital devices such as computers, televisions, security systems, and smart appliances. Using an in-home display, consumers can then monitor and manage energy use in real time as well as remotely monitor and control thermostats and other smart electric appliances, which you'll see firsthand as you tour the facility. As consumers use this smart technology to manage consumption and the related costs, the environment could benefit through less need for additional electric generation. Centerpoint Energy is installing more than two million smart electric meters and associated communications facilities throughout Greater Houston. But smart meters are just the first step. Over the next several years, we'll build the first phase of an intelligent grid 
that will improve electric reliability and power restoration times, and it will help achieve environmental benefits as well. Our initiative began in 2005, and since that time, we've been at the forefront of the move toward a smart grid, embracing technology that others are now beginning to adopt. CenterPoint Energy is a founding member of IBM's Intelligent Utility Network. We actively participate in key industry groups such as Gridwise and the U.S. Department of Energy Electric Advisory Committee. And we're helping to develop such industry standards as Zigbee, HomePlug, and OpenSG. The end result is a system with flexible architecture and design standards that can be adopted by other electric utilities. With a diverse climate and a landmass covering over 268,000 square miles, Texas has more renewable energy potential than any other state in the country. Our smart grid infrastructure will enable the seamless integration of renewable energy sources. Doing so gives generators the ability to fully utilize alternative energy sources and decrease carbon emissions. The grid will be able to account for the growing number of small-scale energy sources, such as personal solar panels. Not only does renewable energy help our environment, it's also good business and creates jobs for our local communities. Developing Texas's renewable resources will help our state's economy. This also makes distributed generation a more viable option and creates a variety of new opportunities. In the future, solar and wind energy generated by consumers can be sold back to the grid. This surplus energy means less demand for large capacity power generation, again benefiting the environment. Similarly, plug-in electric vehicles can also be a source of electricity. With vehicle-to-grid capability, cars that run on electricity can deliver surplus energy to the grid, as well as draw energy from it. Through our ongoing partnerships with major automakers and the Electric Power Research Institute, CenterPoint Energy is contributing to the development of standards for the integration of plug-in vehicles into the smart grid. Our smart grid will include a state-of-the-art distribution management system that gathers information and quickly assesses grid conditions in the event of power outages. The area associated with the outage is identified instantly, so service can remain energized and rerouted automatically. The grid's ability to pinpoint trouble allows our field crews to proceed directly to the affected area and begin repairs without the need to manually patrol larger areas searching for the trouble spot. Security is also a top concern as we design our intelligent grid. As a transmission and distribution utility, we have extensive experience implementing security measures. We've helped develop our industry cybersecurity standards, which are fully implemented in our transmission system. We maintain a comprehensive cybersecurity and risk mitigation program based on national standards, followed by other leading companies in the energy, defense, and financial industry and we apply the best practices to protect all of our information networks and electric grid. Besides the experience that has made us one of the country's leading utilities in this smart technology, Texas is an ideal setting for realizing the benefits of a smart grid. As a deregulated market, Texas can play a key role in the development of consumer applications that tap into the power of the smart grid. In the Houston area alone, Consumers can choose from among dozens of retail electric providers. This competitive environment is expected to encourage retailers to develop a variety of innovative products and services to offer their customers. Our service territory is also located in the heart of Hurricane Alley, the Texas Gulf Coast. The City of Houston Task Force recently concluded that a smart grid with self-healing capabilities offers the best return on investment for improving grid resilience and enabling faster electric service restoration system-wide. The future of delivering energy presents challenges on many fronts. CenterPoint Energy will continue to identify and implement sustainable solutions that address those challenges, while delivering safe, reliable, and environmentally responsible energy to meet the needs of our customers, not just today, but for many years to come. We hope you'll enjoy your visit to our Energy Insight Center as you're about to see how this technology will give our power grid conceived nearly a hundred years ago a sustainable future and how it will change everything from the way we control appliances to how we can quickly recover from a loss of power. The smart grid will enable a range of possibilities for consumers, utilities, and the environment. 
The first step is a smart meter, which allows two-way communication between the meter and Centerpoint Energy. Now, once you have a smart meter, you can connect it to an in-home energy monitor, also called an in-home display, or IHD, a small device about the size of a digital camera that wirelessly receives electric usage information from a smart meter. With a smart meter and an in-home monitor, you can see just how much electricity you're using up to the minute. In-home monitors may provide other useful information, like an estimate of your monthly bill based on current usage. These in-home displays offer a range of capabilities. For instance, some of the more advanced displays have a goal-setting feature, which allows you to set a target for your monthly bill and track your progress throughout the month. As in-home displays help consumers understand their energy usage patterns, they'll be better equipped to manage their electricity consumption. In-home displays are not yet widely available, but we expect that to change, with a selection of displays becoming available at a range of prices. In 2010 and 2011, we conducted an in-home display pilot program with 300 random consumers. We provided them with the display so they could experience firsthand the energy and money-saving possibilities of smart meters. In return, the consumers shared feedback with us on their experience. 91% of pilot participants said their in-home display was easy to set up. 93% are satisfied with the display, and 80% are likely to recommend it to a friend. In fact, 71% of these consumers said they had already made energy-saving changes during the course of the 90-day pilot, such as turning off lights, adjusting thermostats, or switching to energy-efficient light bulbs. Another 16% plan to make additional changes, such as sealing air leaks or purchasing energy-efficient appliances. Let's listen to some of the pilot participants share their energy-saving experiences with in-home energy monitors. The Centerpoint Energy's pilot program was uh, a letter came to our home and asked if we'd like to be part of a program that uh, would help us with some real-time monitoring of our electric expenses. As a Houstonian for almost 40 years, I've been through a lot of hot summers, a lot of cold winters, and high bills. And I've been on our own. We've been trying to budget as well as we can. There was a monitor. It said that it would provide some real-time uh, monitoring for our usage. We took a chance and we did it. And I'm happy with it. Uh, what we found is that we can eliminate $20, $30 a month of electricity we weren't using, I mean, that we were using improperly to begin with. We've been doing a lot of things manually, and when we had the pilot program that says we'll have something in the house that'll help us understand more of what's going on, um, you know, we didn't have to go to the computer all the time, we'd have something right up close and personal, if you would, that we could look at and understand what our usage was. We use it primarily just to look at what our actual usage is right this very minute. We've gotten away from a little bit using it for looking at the monthly bill and things like that. We found that the most use that we're getting out of it is what are we using right this minute. I can be unloading groceries from the grocery store and look at the monitor, open the refrigerator door and watch the number go up. And normally I might leave that refrigerator door open the whole time I'm unloading everything into the refrigerator. Now I close it. And I've also, I can also just stand there and pull the deep freeze drawer out look at the monitor and it's run up three numbers. So it, it's a really good learning tool for me just for basic economic use of, of saving energy and saving money just with an everyday task just like that, as simple as that. The next step up from an in-home display is a home area network or HAN. A HAN isn't a single device, it's a network of smart electricity consuming devices such as your air conditioner, computer, TV, alarm system or kitchen appliances. With a smart meter as the hub, consumers with a home area network will be able to remotely monitor and control up to five electric devices, such as appliances or thermostats, or even more devices with an internet home gateway. New smart appliances include a Zigbee chip, which allows them to communicate wirelessly with a smart meter, in-home display, or other devices. Think of Zigbee as Bluetooth on steroids. There are also devices that can be connected to existing appliances, such as window air conditioning units, to let you monitor and possibly control them. Of course, you will need a simple way to manage your devices and information. A home energy management system will give you a single location within your home where you can perform tasks like controlling smart appliances, 
displaying up-to-date energy consumption information, or adjusting your thermostat or lighting. With a home area network and an in-home display or gateway, you will be able to track exactly which appliances are using the most energy and learn, for example, just how much it costs to bake that lasagna. Higher home energy management systems offer additional features like weather forecasts or comparisons of your energy use to that of average consumers in your area. Smartphone applications will allow you to perform many of the same energy management functions. Plus, you'll be able to program your heating and cooling system or smart appliances like this washer and dryer for greater efficiency. For example, instead of allowing your water heater to run all day, you might want to control when it cycles on and off to save yourself some energy and money. Smart meters also make it possible for retail electric providers to offer new products and services such as energy analysis tools, prepaid service, or time of use rates. With a time of use rate and a smart dishwasher, for example, you could program your dishwasher to turn on after your smart meter has told it your rate has dropped, maybe even after you've gone to bed. A dishwasher that saves you money while you sleep? Now that's smart. As Centerpoint Energy builds the intelligent grid over the next several years, other companies, like GE, are manufacturing smart appliances and creating home area network technology that will allow consumers to monitor and control their appliances from anywhere. Imagine using a cell phone to adjust your thermostat, start your dishwasher, preheat your oven, and more. Consumers who choose to create a home area network will empower themselves to take more control of their energy use. Online energy portals are another tool for consumers. One that's already available is the Smart Meter Texas website. Customers of Centerpoint Energy and several other Texas utilities who have smart meters can register at the site to see their yearly, monthly, or daily electric usage information down to 15 minute increments. Once again, with access to this kind of information, you can better understand your electricity usage patterns to make home improvements or consumption changes that can help you save energy and money. Other portals can be developed to give you even more control, allowing you to set energy profiles for your home, send and receive messages to and from your utility, program appliances, and more. Now all of these devices, smart appliances, and energy management systems will generate a lot of data about consumers' electricity usage. Rest assured that under Texas law, this information belongs to the consumer. This means that only Centerpoint Energy Houston Electric and the customer's retail electric provider can see specific customers' electricity usage data. And smart meters don't collect or send personal information about a customer. Smart Meter Texas does allow registered users to share their usage data with friends, however, and will allow users to voluntarily grant access to their data to third parties, such as energy management consultants, if they choose to do so. The proposed introduction of a green button to Smart Meter Texas would allow authorized usage information to be downloaded in a national standard XML format, which will facilitate the creation of energy management applications for the web and mobile devices. You may have seen commercials for some of the plug-in electric vehicles that have hit the market, like the Chevy Volt or Nissan Leaf. Well, they are related to the smart grid, too. Here's a charger for an electric car. The time required to fully recharge your battery varies by the voltage of the charger. At 120 volts, it could take from 6 to 8 hours. At 240 volts, 2 to 4 hours. And at 480 volts, which could be available at some commercial establishments, it might be as little as 20 minutes. Centerpoint Energy has already begun to prepare for the demands on the electric grid of a large number of electric vehicles being charged across Houston at the same time. In the not-so-distant future, with new systems and technology, this portable vehicle charger could be tagged to your electric account, which means you can go anywhere and charge your car, and the charger will know who to bill. So, if you travel to a family member's house, for example, and you need to recharge your car, you can assure them that you, not they, will be charged for the electricity you use to charge your car. So don't worry when your brother-in-law brings his Volt or Leaf over to charge at your house. When the smart grid is in place, electric vehicles will be able to do more than get you from point A to point B. The battery can also store electricity that could be used to power a home in the event of an outage or even be sold back to the grid. 
Imagine charging your car in your garage overnight when a time of use rate is low, storing the power in the car all morning, and then selling the power back to the grid on a hot summer afternoon when demand for electricity is high and time of use rates are higher. The same is true of personal solar panels and wind turbines. Consumers will be able to use the electricity they generate, or any surplus power they generate could become a source of power for the grid. Another benefit of the smart grid is the ability for Centerpoint Energy to limit the size and duration of power outages. Now, we will still have outages, whether from a storm, a vehicle hitting a pole, or a variety of causes. Where the smart grid will make a difference is in how Centerpoint Energy responds to outages. Today, the process to restore power is almost all manual. For a neighborhood circuit level outage, we dispatch a crew to the general area, which must then locate the source of trouble. This can take up to 90 minutes, and we haven't even begun fixing the problem. Once workers locate the problem, switches on either side of the source of the outage have to be opened, again manually, to de-energize the section of the circuit so crews can work safely. Depending on the nature of the outage, the crew that discovered it may or may not be the right one for the job. For instance, if it's a one-man truck, but the problem is that a large tree has fallen on the line, then we need to call in tree trimmers and perhaps additional line mechanics. Once the problem is fixed, the circuit is restored according to orders from one of our dispatchers and power is returned to customers. Centerpoint Energy employees do a great job in this environment, but it can take a long time, in large part because so many of the steps are manual. In addition, all of this happens today without a lot of communication with customers. Now let's take a look at how the process will work with a fully functioning smart grid. First, I'll demonstrate with this model, and then we'll watch the same scenario with real intelligent grid switches. Here we see three rows of homes representing a typical neighborhood. The middle and far sets of power lines, illuminated in white, are fed from substation A, and the red power lines for the near row of houses are fed by substation B. In real life, each of these three sets of circuits would serve hundreds or even thousands of customers. Let's say there's a storm and a tree falls on the middle row of power lines. This creates a fault which trips the breaker at substation A, cutting off power to the far and middle sets of power lines fed by substation A. The homes on the near row fed by substation B still have power. The boxes with red or green lights represent Intelligent Grid Switching Devices, or IGSDs. The red switches are closed. When a circuit is closed, electricity can flow through the circuit. When switches are opened along a circuit, the connection letting electricity flow through the circuit is broken and power can no longer travel through the circuit. The nearest IGSD switch is green, indicating that it is open, breaking the connection to the lines powered by substation A. The next step is to locate where the fault occurred. With the help of smart meters and intelligent grid switches, we can isolate the problem on the circuit. We open the middle and far switches so that the lines are now safe for our crew to begin work. By isolating the problem with intelligent grid switches, our crew spends less time searching for the source of the fault manually. While locating where the outage has occurred, the intelligent grid will let us begin to restore power to as many people as possible as soon as possible. The sensors recognize that the fault is on the middle row of power lines, not the far row. The fault has now been isolated to the middle row so that the breaker at substation A can be automatically reset. With the intelligent grid switches open, electricity is brought back to the farthest row of houses even before the crew arrives. Power is restored to these folks in minutes or seconds rather than the hours it might take today for a crew walking the lines to discover that the fault is really on the neighboring lines. The middle switch remains open while a field crew is dispatched to fix the problem. In this case, a tree trimming crew would also be dispatched to remove the source of the outage. After the crews have fixed the problem, the far and middle switches are closed, the near switch is opened, and power is restored to the entire neighborhood. Now that you've seen how the intelligent grid will work on the model, let's do a live action demonstration. The poles, switches, substations, and home facades correspond to those we saw on the model. The fault will occur between poles one and two. As in the model, open switches will be green and closed switches red. We'll see the homes go dark, and then the homes on the left and right will have power restored automatically. The family in the middle home has signed up to receive a phone call. They could choose text or email too. 
from Centerpoint Energy when their smart meter tells us their power is out. And another call to confirm when the intelligent grid and our hardworking crews have restored their power. Let's watch and listen. The pops you will hear are switches opening automatically to isolate the problem. Again, each of these home facades represents hundreds or thousands of customers. The white lines show power coming from substation A, and the red lines show power from substation B. Families are at home going about their business when a thunderstorm knocks out their power. The outage affects all the homes served by substation A. The pops you hear are switches opening automatically to isolate the problem to the middle home. Power is then routed around the trouble spot, returning service to as many customers as possible. Customers who have signed up to be notified in the event of an outage receive a phone call, email, or text message, depending upon their preference, with more information. This is a message from Energy Insight Center to Shaver customer. To listen, please press 1. This is a message from Center Point Energy Insight notifying you that the power is out at your house. Crews are en route to restore your power. To repeat the message, press star. Sender left no contact information. Thank you and goodbye. Meanwhile, the system dispatches a crew to the source of the fault, located to within 250 feet by intelligent grid sensors, which will drastically reduce the time we spend hunting for the problem. When the crew arrives on site, they will diagnose the problem and restore the circuit to return power to customers in the trouble area. At this point, customers will receive a second notification telling them the outage has been resolved. This is a message from Energy Insight Center to Shaver customer. You will have a choice of two responses. Center Point is aware of a power outage at your residence suspected to be a tree online problem. Repairs have been made. We are sorry for the inconvenience. The sender left the following two reply options. To select, my lights are back on. Press 1. To select, my lights are still out. Press 2. To repeat the message and option, press star. You have selected 1. My lights are back on. If they're still without power, Customers will have the option of notifying Centerpoint Energy by pressing 2, for example, and will route a truck to their area. Today, not only is the process all manual and more time consuming, but the entire power restoration process may not start until the customer calls Centerpoint Energy. Well, now, smart readers will detect the outage and notify us, and in the future, the intelligent grid will reroute electricity to minimize the number of people without power, dispatch a crew, and keep customers informed. In some cases, such as an outage during the workday, Centerpoint Energy could restore power even before the customer knows about it. The customer's smart meter and the intelligent grid will have told us. Construction of phase one of our intelligent grid, which will cover more than half a million Houstonians in central Houston and along the Houston Ship Channel, has already begun and is expected to be completed in a couple of years. Thanks for coming along on this virtual tour of Centerpoint Energy's Energy Insight Center. What you have seen represents the latest technology our industry has to offer. We've talked a lot about the new devices that will be available for the home and some of the ways consumers will have more information to manage their energy use. So let's put it all together and see what a typical day might be like for a family with a fully equipped smart home. In the future, when smart products and services become generally available, consumers will be able to use a home area network to control select appliances throughout the home, even when they're away. At the center of the network is our smart meter, which will be able to communicate with both the retail electric providers and certain smart appliances. Think of it as a communications hub, directing information back and forth between your appliances, your retail electric providers, and Centerpoint Energy. Here's a quick look at what could be a typical day in this home of the future. That would be fabulous. How did that interview go yesterday? Was it good? Or? Come on, honey, it's time to get going. 
get back to you um, regarding the meeting. We'll double check on that. And um, as far as Sarah goes, This is Paula, can I help you? Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, honey. Mom, can I have dinner at Kelly's tonight? Oh, sure, that sounds like fun. Do you need one of us to pick you up later? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, great, we'll see you then. Bye, Mom. Bye. Hello. Hi. Hey, hon, what's up? Lindsay's having dinner with her friend tonight, so I thought you and I could try that new uh, Italian restaurant down the street. Sounds good. I'll meet you there. Okay, bye. Hey, Lindsay, I think it's getting late. Might we get your homework done? Okay, Mom. All right. I need to go change that air filter. Okay. Centerpoint Energy, always there.